Hey everybody, this is Tool Dude Tony. On today's episode, we're going to restore this Coleman Road Trip Grill. Hey everybody, I've been wanting one of these uh, Coleman Road Trip Grills since it came out a few years ago. These are your ultimate tailgating grill systems. Check this out. You got a couple of burners, you can put a griddle in there if you wanted to. Now, I didn't want to spend a 200 bucks to get one of these, so I've been kind of keeping my eye open on the used market. And a friend of mine just happened to say to me, Hey dude, hey, you want a grill? And it's like, yeah, hell yes. Give me your grill. But this thing's a mess. Let me show you what I mean. Doesn't look so bad in the video, but this thing's never been cleaned. At least it doesn't look like it's ever been cleaned. There's uh, so much buildup on these grills. It's just a mess. I don't even want to touch it. These things weigh a ton. Okay, when you look in here, you got more crud buildup, but you know what? This can come off. And here's another problem. Right around this uh, burner assembly, it's rusted out. But guess what? This is Tool Dude. We can fix this. I'm going to go ahead and take it apart here. It looks like it's just got four screws holding this top piece on. Okay, with all the screws out, let's lock this. Just out. Hey, did. Gross. Well, now looking inside here, we're, we're in pretty good shape. Looks like this uh, base unit has been uh, powder coated. Got some, well, got some melting going on here. That's no big deal. Well, we got one screw poking its head at us. I don't know what this is. Well, let's take it out and see. Well, while I've got this screw out, let's go ahead and take this piezoelectric thing out. It's going to squirrel it around sideways. You don't want to mess it up. There we go. Now it's out of the way. This is a purple power degreaser, concentrated, good stuff. It should knock some of the crap off of here. These are the grates. I'm going to go ahead and put them in this uh, pan that I just happen to have sitting around here. Going to use some uh, ammonia. It's just water. Okay, let's see what we can do with a little cup-shaped wire brush on this thing. Hey, this is a paint stripper wheel. I've been working on it with this. Itty grit flap wheel on a grinder. Okay, now I'm gonna hit him with the right stuff. That should finish off whatever rust is left. Doesn't look like much. This will uh, kill it. Turns the rust black, prepares it for painting. I've gone ahead and masked off everything. I'm going to go ahead and spray this with some uh, Rust-Oleum grill paint. This is high heat. This is specifically for grills. It'll go straight over this uh, stuff that I have here, rust, you know, without any kind of primer. This will work just fine. I'm going to paint the burner and everything with this stuff, but uh, I went ahead and masked off this area. Remember, that's where that little piezoelectric starter comes up. It needs to arc against this... Uh, holes here where the gas comes out of these uh, out of this top of the burner I 
This is an SOS pad. Okay, I'm gonna hit my plastic parts with some of this uh, Turtle Wax F21 Super Protectant for vinyl. Install the little piezoelectric igniters. That's working. Put your screws back in. This is how it cleaned up on the inside. Not bad. Here's what it looks like with the top closed. That's what I'm talking about. And we have a grill. Nice, huh? Well, and that's it. This bad boy is ready for another road trip. Thanks for watching this episode of How to Fix Shit 101. Hey, if you like this video, press the like button and uh, maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free, why not? And remember, if you're not fixing it yourself, you're paying somebody else to fix it, so get out there and fix something. Thanks for watching, Tool Dude, out of here.